once you're inside HitFilm, we're going to start off by creating a new composite shot for this. Um, let's make this, I don't know, let's make this four seconds long and click on OK. Gonna create a new plane layer. We're gonna call this PG for background. I'm gonna set its color to black. And I'm gonna create another plane layer and call this FG for foreground. I'm gonna set its color to white. On your foreground layer, uh, make sure that layer is selected, and then you need to select your freehand mouse tool and just create a simple shape like this. All right. So this is our first shape. Uh, select. Uh, this layer again the foreground layer again with the freehand mouse tool you're going to make another shape like this it doesn't have to be perfect you can just create your shape like this you can adjust it as well again select the foreground layer and just create the shape that you want to create These are the four shapes um, you can customize it uh, I mean you can even edit this using the freehand mouse tool if you don't like how it looks but for me I think it's perfect then you need to just import your video clip onto your timeline and all you have to do is on your video clip right click go to blend and set the blend mode to multiply and now as you can see your video clip fit will be inside these four shapes all right that's cool and um, we're gonna add some text so we'll create a new plane layer uh, we'll create a new text layer and uh, we'll call uh, we can type in anything that we want let's say producer and the font is I believe old London you can select that font and increase the size a bit and you can also change its color as well Right, so good then we can just um, align this to the left as well um, and then I can just put it anywhere that I want so let's just put it right over here and uh, I think that's just too big so I'll just scale this down yeah somewhere over there let's create a new text layer and we can call you can type in your name or anything that you want to type and so uh, we can change it to some other font basic stuff right uh, we can change its color to white and scale it down line it to the left and then we can just put this under our text now we need to animate our mask so let's just make sure that the shapes come one after other so you need to go to your foreground layer and you have the masks so in the search um, up here I'm going to type in opacity and we'll just display opacity keyframes and uh, I'll just create a keyframe on opacity under all these four masks and I'll just move 10 frames forward and just uh, you know change the opacity so maybe you know what let's just reduce it to zero on the 31st frame and move 10 frames forward and set this back to 100 right and just select all these keyframes and uh, convert the keyframes to constant keyframes and then uh, just have to just select uh, these keyframes and stagger these up uh, so I'll just maybe put it somewhere over here maybe let's just put this here I'll just want it to appear randomly um, so maybe something like that so if you play this is what you will have obviously uh, you can play around with the speed uh, you can increase the distance between the keyframes um, yeah but I think that looks fine um, so one more thing that I noticed is uh, we have a freeze frame until uh, until all these four shapes are visible if you have seen the animation um there's a freeze frame until all these four shapes are visible and then uh, the video inside these shapes uh, starts to play so how do we do that you just have to just clip or split you just have to clip oh my god you just have to split your clip 
uh, when you get all these four shapes so in my case it's at 38th frame I'm going to split it I'm going to delete the extra uh, extra clip and now you just drag in your clip again and make sure that it starts after the first clip and also make sure that the blend mode is set to multiply on this clip as well so you see uh, you have uh, oh yeah and on your first clip uh, most forgot which is the most important part just uh, drag in the speed effect on this clip and set the speed amount to zero and now it's going to be a freeze frame for that uh, period of keyframes and then your clip will start to play uh, finally what we can do is we can just uh, make sure that these two text layers appear from the 30th frame so now if we play this there we have it that's how easy it is to create gta style intro inside um, it film if you have any questions let me know in the comments other than that if this video is helpful don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one